And we're back with another episode of the Coastal Carolina Dynasty here on NCAA 25. This week is another big one. We got Appalachian State. And on a bit of a win streak, two games in a row. Should be two, three, four, five games in a row, but we're not going to talk about it. But we got App State, Marshall, Georgia, Southern Georgia State. Four games left. Realistically, we have to win two of them to, well, not necessarily. I guess we could win one and then lose three and go 500, but we want to go above. This week, we do have some recruits. Obviously, still only one recruit. Worst recruited class in the nation. But we do have guys visiting this week. Starting with, if I can find it. We have Manny Flavors visiting this week, which is big, right? We're up. If we can somehow get him to commit this week, that'd be massive. Fournette, we're trying to make a last-minute push, but it, it, it's pretty much this week or bust because he's going to visit Iowa and Nebraska coming up. Um, and I believe that is it for this week, and it is. Do we have anybody ready to visit? We still have some guys ready to visit. Um, like Josh Durbin here. He's visiting next week against or next week at Appalachian State. But a win here would be massive. We would move to six and three, but most importantly, we could be getting some massive recruits this week. Alright, starting here on defense. A little rain game. So this might help us with Christian Washington. And we almost intercepted first play of the game. Should have. We don't. But throwing could be difficult for both teams today. As maybe not. Joey Aguilar, 21 yards already. Throwing the first two plays. First and 10 here for App State. Love to get in the backfield if possible. Can't tackle. Nice hit, but again, another first down for Joey Aguilar and App State. See if we can blitz here with Trey Brown. I mean, almost get there. Basically did. All right, second and nine here. See if we can use her Brown. And that's going to be... I gain of nothing. Clinton there on the tackle. He has three and a half sacks. The senior. Third and nine. I'm not using the guy I want to use her. Stop if you have heard that before. <clears throat> using the safety. I don't really think it makes a big difference if I'm not. It's just I, I, I didn't want to use her him to begin with. I wanted to use her a linebacker. Balls out, and it's recovered by App State. They're gonna. Re I, there's no point of reviewing this. Okay, so it wasn't a fumble to begin with. Whatever. A direct snap to the running back. I, okay. Third and goal here. This would be massive if we can somehow stop them. Jet motion. Brown is there for the TFL. Trey Brown read it. Fourth and goal. Are they just going to kick it? They do. Only three points given up there is a win. It's crazy that they only wasted 34 seconds on that drive. No, that's not accurate at all. Oh, they're counting the fumble. I was going to say, there's no way. It was way more than 34. Four seconds. It's like two minutes. But Ethan Vasco and Coastal Carolina take the field wearing all black today. And we'll see what we can do here. It's second and 12. See if we can just give it to Washington. Third and 10. Not the start you want at all. I mean, 
see if we can get something here. Maybe car on the outside. Got him! Caught! Great throw by Vasco. First down, ECU. Kendall Carr last week had a big week, too. Three catches, 70 yards, and a touchdown. Really want to try and get the running game going here with Washington. I mean, we'll take... We'll take six all day there by Christian Washington. He had to fight for that six, too. Second four. We'll just give it right there to Coleman. Picks up the first down. Tight window, but it works. New set of downs. See if we can motion car here to set up the run with Washington. Washington, beautiful juke. Picks up 10. Love that from Christian Washington. Last week, he still had 85 yards and a touchdown. He had a big run to get a majority of those yards. Because we didn't really run that much last week. Since Vasco wants to transfer out of here, apparently. And there goes Malik. Big time gain down the sideline. Good drive so far here. We might have Carr right away. Don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Don't like it one bit. Just get down. Just get down. Don't want to fumble it. Nothing crazy. You got Malik. Malik! Untouched. Touchdown, Coastal. Great first drive. And it's capitalized by Vasco finding Malik, which we have heard a lot this year. 4-6, we go down the field, we respond with a touchdown, and it's going to be 7-3, Coastal on top. All right, App State's throwing the ball a decent bit here so far today. They already got 100 yards passing. We got to get pressure, or we're just going to get burned um, for a touchdown. This is our corner got absolutely burned. Heisman pose is insane, by the way. Just burned. Hetzel, the junior, wide open. They respond immediately. And it's going to be 10-7, App State. There goes Washington. Gain of probably like 12 for the sophomore running back. We'll take that all day. Oh, that was an extremely dangerous. I didn't even see the linebacker sitting there. That had interception written all over it. First and ten here. That doesn't work. Gain of nothing. Let's see if we can maybe just go back here. Can we motion Malik? We can. That did nothing. A lot of eye candy to pick up one yard. Maybe the screen will work. They look heavy right side here to begin with. You got to get it out. You did. Washington. Pick it up. Push him forward. First down, Coastal Christian Washington. The recipient of the catch and run for the first down. All right. We got, we got Tucker. First down, moving the chains. <clears throat> Maybe this is when we try slot post. Let's switch size. Get Washington a little bit out there. See if he can use that side of the field. And he can. Washington, touchdown, Coastal. <clears throat> we see them playing man. We capitalize on it. And Christian Washington, touchdown Coastal. Beautiful ball by Vasco. Gave him a ton of room. Just let Washington get underneath it. Make a play. We go back down. Score a touchdown. 14-10 good, guys. Whitson, get pressure. We, we cannot bring him down. Brown can't bring him down. Oh my gosh, he drops it. That was a touchdown, probably. Oh, wow. Pfft. 
We got a break. That's the definition of a break. Wow. That that should not <clears throat> That should not have been dropped. Okay. Well That's a pick. Not a pick. Could have been a pick. Second and ten. I mean maybe we just try and run here with Bennett. Pick up some yards. Our line just cannot run block to save themselves whatsoever. Instead, it's going to be third and nine. We'll see what we can draw up. Vasco might have actually had him. It's caught! No, it's not! I swear he caught it. Does he not? I mean, Vasco throws it on the money. He just drops it. That's tough. Well, I guess I can't really make fun of them because we did the same exact thing. It is raining. So, can't really be surprised, but... Ugh. Whitson is just not fooled, and we cannot bring the quarterback down. This guy's a magician. Whitson has now, back-to-back -back plays, gotten in the backfield, and just cannot bring him down. Finally, someone gets to him, and it's Clinton the senior. And he's hurt. How are you hurt? You were the guy who tackled him. That makes no sense. At all. And we get enough pressure. Fourth and 25, he's going to throw it away. D-line, that drive got in the backfield pretty much every time, which is big. Need to keep that up. is going to have... No, he's not. I was going to say he's going to have a return. He's going to have the opposite of a return. All right, they might be blitzing here. That safety looks like he's blitzing. We're going to do Texas route. He is going to blitz. But we have the tight end. We have Carr. We read that. Carr, stiff arm, stays on his feet, and he's not down yet. Read the safety coming down. He came down way too early. I mean, Vasco is 2,000... 23 passing yards this season. Is that like a record? I don't know why they showed that stat. Carr, 70 yards already on the day. He's been big for us the past two weeks. He's been big all year, to be honest. And you full start like morons. He's open. He's open. Yeah, let's let's just have second and eighteen. We see a guy wide open, and we're like, ah, let's just false start and ruin it. Geniuses, block, Vasco, run, get out of bounds, late hit, protect our players, please. We might have Carr here. We might have a Washington touchdown. We're gonna have a Washington touchdown. Who else but Christian Washington? The man, the myth, the legend. Tag Christian Washington in this video. Please. I need him to recognize how much of a goat he is. I mean, we finally got pressure to him, though. He did get hit hard as he threw the ball, but finally we got some pressure. Which is encouraging. Across the middle of the field. I saw it, but I just couldn't really do anything about it. They're going middle of the field. We might we might use her Bruce here. That should be a screen. Nope. Just a little bit a little bit off. Robinson though, he's got five catches for ninety-five yards so far today. 
user Fletcher here. Why are you diving that early when you're that far away? This guy just teleports to the four-yard line. I mean, this guy's out here is kind of wide open. Everyone's wide open. All right, 21-17. We get ball at half. So we can get points here pretty massive. We get it out to Bennett. Bennett picks up eight. Maybe we just go right back to it. We're wasting so much time. So much time was just wasted there. Give it to Be give it to Bennett. Bennett, just get out of bounds. Okay. We get out. Need points here. Washington. Honestly, probably good that you dropped it. In reality, I mean, I doubt Coleman gets, gets, is gone on this. You got to catch the football, guys. You got to catch the football. I don't know if I like throwing another screen. We're going to. Bennett. Bennett. Stays on his feet. Timeout. Okay. Pretty big there. I wish... Washington was in. I don't. We're gonna have to make that change. First and ten now. Vasco, yeah. Thank you for just getting rid of the football. I mean, we might go. We might just keep going screen. Washington's in. We're just gonna give it to Washington. Washington, cut back in. Cut back out. Make a man miss. Washington is the greatest player to ever play college football. He is literally Johnny Manziel if he was a running back. That's not an exaggeration. Block for me. Block for me. You don't block for me. That's fine. All right. Ten seconds left. We got maybe this is might be the last play. Washington. Touchdown. Coastal. We run the mesh once again. Linebacker on Christian Washington. I'm taking that 10 out of 10 times. Beautiful throw by Vasco. Just gets it in. Because that safety was coming in hot. We just are able to get there. Massive touchdown before half. And we get ball. We might, we might send a deep play here first play. They're pressed up. We'll just give it to Bennett. We'll just give it to Bennett. Bennett's kind of making some shifty moves here today. He's got four catches for 47 yards. Washington checks back in the game. Washington has three touchdowns today. He might not be having the most running yards. But let me tell you. He's still going to make his, his mark. Nice cutback by Washington. Just pick up a first. We're going to chew clock here a little bit this drive. Up 11. Still moving the football. I'm hoping Manny Flavors and the gentlemen here watching this game are, are enjoying it. Fournette. Flavors. Even Durbin, who's visiting App State last week. Or next week. I know he's not visiting today, but might be swayed a little bit. Give it to Malik. Malik. Just runs over the corner. Vasco is also having a really great game in general, which is big considering he apparently wants to transfer, which is crazy in itself. Go up the field. Go up the field. If he would have ran up way earlier, that's a touchdown because it's him on a linebacker. He just doesn't. Vasco's not fast. He's fast enough to gain three, but he's still not that fast. That's fine, though. I mean, we wasted a ton of clock. 
And we could still somehow pick up a first down here. Which we're going to do. Vasco to car. And Vasco statistically is having a better week this week already than last week with still a whole quarter to go. Washington kind of jukes into the defender. It's fine. He has three touchdowns on the day. We might throw this one to car. We're going to. And it's just... Touchdown. Thought I was going to fumble celebrating. It was kind of a weird angle. But 35-17 now against App State. Vasco 280 and four touchdowns. Boys are moving. Boys are rolling. Vibes are very high here at Coastal. I mean, what a job by the D-lineman, Whitson. Again, just gets in the backfield. And we pretty much wasted the whole entire third quarter with that drive. Another run. They're running more than they have all game. You're down 18. Running's n running now is not the time. They're going deep. And we intercepted Jenkins. Picks it. Is he going to have the distance? Jenkins got to beat the quarterback. He's not able to. But it's intercepted by Jenkins. Great return. They go deep. And we make a play on the football. I feel like it's been weeks we've been trying to do that. Keontae Jenkins, the senior corner. They go deep. Makes a play on the football. And I'm not going to say the game's over. But we're going to win this football game. And if we don't, this will be the last episode of the series. Because we would have a generational choke job. Fourth and two, we're going to go for it. This might be stupid. Apparently, I'm, I can't chew clock for some reason. Got him. Got him! Touchdown, Coastal! We throw it to Malik the Freak, and he does what he does best, and that's just score touchdowns. We're going to go for two, because you know what? We can. That's why. And we get it. We're, we're rolling. This game might actually, like, help us a ton with commits. Because not only... Like, did they come this week and we won? We're, like, blowing out App State, who's probably one of the better teams overall-wise we've faced this year. I know they're 4-5, and five, but, I mean, this game was massive. Let's go with all those 300 yards and five touchdowns is insane. And it's intercepted by Bruce! Bruce! Disgusting cutback! Does he have it? He does! Shane Bruce! One of the grossest returns! Shane Bruce! I didn't even think he was going to stay on his feet. And then the cutback, the turn. He had one guy to beat. Dives. Insane. I mean, 50 to 17 here. This game's a blowout in every good way possible. Eubanks just can't. Okay. Shane Bruce, nice hit, though. That should be a fumble. But what a game for the fellas. Six and three on the year. Three game win streak. At the right time. We got three games left. We could finish nine and three. Which I think winning nine games this year would be insane. I think heading into the year, Whitson, second sack of the game. 
I think heading into this year, if we were like a 6-7 win team, I'd be happy. And, I mean, with today's win, we're going to at least be a 6-win team. Next week, we have Marshall, who could be 1-8 or 2-7. and seven. Logically should beat them, but that means we'll probably lose somehow. Yeah, I don't know if running the football there is, is the way to way to do it. But defensively, I feel like the past couple weeks we've been better. I don't know if it's because we've been using some D linemen and just getting pressure. And maybe th maybe that's what we have to do because overall wise, our D line's not the best. So maybe it helps, you know, just being able to create pressure and having them having to make plays. I knew it was going there too, but I had no one that could could get there. This guy's just rolling for a first down. They're probably going to score here, which is whatever. You can take a garbage touchdown. Take a garbage touchdown, 24-50. We're going to run the ball, make sure they don't score another touchdown. We're still winning this football game. There's also a high chance we get an insane quarterback commit. I don't know if it'd be this week, but 95 speed, 95 throw power is insane if we can somehow sway him to come to Coastal. I know Vasco is our quarterback, but apparently he's at risk of transferring. I feel like the past two weeks, though, have helped. We'll see. I don't want Vasco to transfer. I really don't. Washington, first down. I mean, that's going to do it. <laughs> maybe we'll try and run here one more time. Then maybe we'll throw a deep ball. See if we can pad some stats again. Don't know if we'll be able to even get a ball off here. We'll call a timeout. I know this is super... Super mean. But, you know... Let's try it. I can't wait to throw a pick and ruin Vasco's phenomenal stat line. Well, it should have been a pick. Doesn't matter. We win 50-24. to 24. Big time win for the guys. I mean, really is. Checking out stats. Might have been our best game ever. Vasco was sensational. Washington honestly wasn't bad. Receiving is where he, he did most of his work. Malik had two touchdowns. Carr, four for 94 and a touchdown. Defensively, sack for Whitson and Clinton, our two seniors. And then a pick for Shane Bruce, the senior, and Keontae Jenkins. So seniors got it done defensively today. That's all that matters. Now, do we get a recruit? Show me someone. Eyes are shut. Please tell me someone commits. No. Okay. Avasco is still at risk of transferring. McDoom is, is actually not as much. We don't get Kurtz. He, South Carolina comes out of nowhere. Durbin's fine. <clears throat> Fournette. I should have known. We're still first for Combs and Tabor, the quarterbacks. Minnesota has just offered Combs. We're first for Quentin Hood, and we're still first for Manny. <clears throat> this isn't this isn't good. Like, not getting Fournette sucks. Really does. The fact that we still have no commits. Is bad. We can schedule visits for both Dante and Kyle. 98 speed. We have we have to we have to get you to come here. And honestly, Dante. I I don't know if we can just for the simple fact of conflicting with Kyle. Like, Lee Applewhite, <clears throat> please. I, I will give you five points. You just need to commit. 
right? He's he's solid. 90 speed, 90 excel, essentially. We already got Cooper, who's not the fastest, but he's a power back. Isaiah, he's okay. I mean, we need a quarterback. We don't even really need a running back. We need four wide receivers. We're in the running for Alex. We are in the running. He's a bust. He's still really good, <clears throat> but he is a bust. We made enough ground. Is it an, is it completely enough? I don't know. We need to get Dylan Morris. Ennis isn't crazy. Hodge isn't crazy. I mean, Bobby Vick is horrendous. But we just have to fill out a roster. We got to fill out a roster. We don't really need a tight end. We don't really need a tight end. Sean, you're scaring me. Manny, you need to commit. I'm going to try and soft sell him. No, I'm going to hard sell him. I can't. All right, I will soft sell you on... Pro potential, proximity to home, program tradition. Peters. I don't know if we're getting him either. Hood and Clemens. Didn't get Hurts. Hewitt. I need to start putting in points to Hewitt. We're the only one who offered him a scholarship. He's the seventh player in the nation. Like... I don't think we're going to get Daniel Cush. This is so tough when you have... Like... No hours. You have 400. Alright, I made the executive decision. We're playing another game this episode. Right now, we're playing in the Cure Bowl against Miami University. Checking out Heisman Watch. <clears throat> Show me Ethan Vasco. Now nah, it's going to be Treshawn Holden, Dylan Gabriels. Okay. Uh, do we have any, like, award watch lists? For, like, head coach of the year? No. Thought maybe we'd get best running back. Christian Washington is fourth. I think that's Kendall Carr, potentially best tight end. I think that's that's all. Yeah, I mean, thought maybe Pizzo. But we're going to play another one here against Marshall. Marshall's 1-8. We should win, but anything's possible. All right, we're on defense here to start. Shocker. Clinton, phenomenal stop. He's up to four and a half sacks this year. I don't know if I should be worried that we have one commit. I kind of am. Phenomenal play by Will Winston. Here's the thing, okay? When I started this, it was like the first day it came out, so I didn't really understand scouting that much. Now I do. So I, I know what to do come next year. As we're going to get to the quarterback, and it's going to be Clinton. Three straight plays, our defensive ends just get in there right away. But as I was saying, I kind of know what to do now. And I know the transfer portal can be generous. It, it would just be nice to get a few more guys, right? Like, show me just some of the main guys we're going after. The thing is, is I could go after the one stars and just get them, but it's like... I don't want to. I want to go after those three, four stars who would be big difference makers instead of just some guys who, like, aren't going to, like, play at all. They're just going to be on the roster. I don't know. We, just, we need commits. Plain and simple. Washington's got a big game there. First down. Christian Washington. 
So far, cruising. We're going to hand it to Washington again. I mean, that just was swallowed up in the backfield. That's all right. Mesh spot has been our friend. Let's see what we can do here. We got Carr, the best tight end in America. Touchdown, Coastal. Vasco continues his dominance from the past couple weeks. And I don't know why he wants to transfer out. The past three weeks, he has like 10 touchdowns, no interceptions. He's been awesome. We're 6-3. and three. We could be 7-3 and three after this week. Why would you want to leave? Him leaving would actually be like the worst possible thing. Only if we get none of the quarterback commits. If we get one of them and he leaves, it still sucks, but it's not as bad. If he leaves and we don't get any commits, we are in, we are in a horrible position. We are in a horrible position. Intercepted by Jenkins! Coastal is cruising. Chad Pennington's son throws the interception for 1-8 Marshall. And I mean, them being 1-8 makes sense right now. Washington, speed, picks up 9. This could be another blowout game. I'd love for it to be that case. You got Malik. Hold on to the football, Malik. That's all we need you to do. I mean, this could be a Bennett touchdown. If our blocks work the way they're supposed to. I mean, our right guard just pancaked that guy. We still weren't able to get anything out of that. But that was insane. This could be Carr. It could be a false start, too. Coleman. Coleman also is a guy who wants to transfer out. We, we could be a lot worse before we get better next year. That's kind of the truth in the fact. That's going to be a Kendall Carr touchdown because that's what he does. The best tight end in America. I've said it once. I'll say it again. Him and Vasco. Peanut butter and jelly. Other good combinations. Bologna and cheese. Ham and cheese. Peanut butter and jelly. Butter and popcorn. 14 nothing, Coastal dominating early on. Second down here. They're going to go across the middle of the field. Open. They're moving down. They're moving this drive. They're moving. They were running the football a lot. First and goal here. Five minutes left in the second. Will couldn't get there, but, I mean, he forced him to kind of having to run backwards a little bit, which still resulted in a loss of two. It's a pressure. It's not going to show up in the stat sheet, but Will calls that. That's just another solid way to fill in the gaps there. Clinton, do something here. Uh, and Pinkney, and what am I doing? That was horrible. That was actually horrible. That should have been a sack. The last thing it should have been was a touchdown. I mean, we might have car open here. We do. Yep. Probably didn't have to be conservative on it, but we were. Tucker just beat him. False start. I, I can call it. I can call it before it happens. I can legitimately call it before it happens. That's that's concerning. Vasco gets a block. Gets another block. First down. Coastal. Vasco doing it with his legs. Doesn't have the greatest speed. But he has just enough, right? Just enough to get it done. Bennett. We get four there thanks to guys pushing us. And this could be another car throw. They're going to blitz. We're going to throw right to where they were blitzing. Car stays on his feet. Our receiver doesn't want to block for us. 
If he would have blocked, Core might be gone. Not a given, but maybe. They're going to blitz again. We're going to go right to Washington. Washington got absolutely lit up. Go mesh spot here. We got Malik. 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 Down to the two-yard line. That's fine. Clock continues to run. This is this might be a trifecta for Carr. Nope. That should have been a sad. Car touchdown. Just give it to him. Let him make. Let him work. Let him work. Kendall Carr touchdown. Coastal three for three. Hat trick for Carr. Stop him here. Don't let him score. Get the ball at half score and put this thing away. All right, third and ten here. Will forces the TFL. We're going to call a timeout. So we could really make things interesting here. We could score with 30 seconds, get the ball back, score, and pretty much put this game to rest. A really good punt, actually. Just no, no blockers there. We might, yeah, we might take a shot here. We might try one. I, I didn't really like anything that was there, to be honest. I didn't. It's all right. We might have Washington here. Or we have Malik, who can make one man miss. He can't get out of bounds. We're going to have to call a timeout. Needed him to get out of bounds there. We have one timeout left, 12 seconds. We got to pick up a decent bid. Might catch him off guard. Fourth and inches. We're gonna go for it. This is stupid. It's a long field goal for them to make. Not anymore because we got sacked. I'm also spamming timeout, by the way. College kickers are not this good. They're not this good. If I lose by three. College kickers, sit like, they don't make as many field goals. Not that far away, too. Let's be, be, be real. Come on. They're not making... 50 yarders with ease. Tucker, way to hold on to the football. I need touchdown here. Just go down the field, score, get some breathing room again. There goes Malik. Malik makes a man miss. Malik stays on his feet. Big time pickup by Malik. He's got four catches for 52 yards here today. Enough for a first. There goes Tucker. Great throw by Vasco. Tucker's actually going to be hurt on the play, however. Really good job there by Vasco, though. Seeing he had a little bit of room. Able to get there. Vasco's going to get sacked. Yeah, I kind of wanted to go to Carr, but I didn't think we were going to have enough, enough space. Washington drops it. Bennett needs to pick up just a decent bit here. He might have picked up a first. Yep. Yep. Bennett. First down. Disgusting juke move for Braden Bennett. Clock moves. Chains move. We move. 
When you're getting two on that, someone's ACL had to just have gotten demolished on that. Do inside zone. I mean, we're going to the star player, but most in car, we should kind of get a little help there. Nope. It's He's actually going to be untouched. Yeah, let's run to the side with Monroe and then not block him. Real spot up job there, Coastal. Washington is not going to have just nobody blocked for him. Like, did I not have the meter, the, like, aim over far enough? Like, I felt like I had that so far over, and it was short. We just did all that to get nothing and just be up 11. Touchdown and two-point conversion, and this game just gets really interesting. Really interesting. Bruce, watch the tight end quick pass here. I read it too! I read it too! I read it too! I, I, read it too. I, I legitimately called it. I knew they were going back there. I knew it. I knew they were going there. I just, I thought he was going to sit. I didn't think he was going to go out. That still should have been TFL, or that should have been its pick all day. Defense going to jam these receivers right off the line. Pinch the line here. Give to the running back. What a run. What a run. I mean, it's going to be 18-21 here. I don't know how, but it's going to be. They go to the ground. Fully holding me! Fully holding me! But we're not going to call it. My guy's just getting chokehold outside. Yeah, he doesn't get it. We need to do something. This is a five-point game. The field goal before half might have been the worst thing I could have done because they got three points out of that. But Vasco has him deep. Coleman! Does it matter? We go right down the field. We throw it up to Coleman. And we retake the lead by a larger margin because we technically already have the lead. Finally, just beat him deep. DeAndre Coleman, the freshman. Vasco floats a beauty. Thank you. And where's our safety? Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Yep. I will repeatedly say it. This is my biggest gripe. I am currently the DT. I then switch to the safety, which is halting me to come the whole way down. Why? It, it literally irritates me so much because it's almost like it's like I don't want to do any of that like it's not fair it's like why why would I use your the safety after using a defensive line like no that's so frustrating like that touchdown we just had did nothing 
Did absolutely nothing. Basco has a ton of room. Just get down. Ton of room for Basco. Ice irritates me so much. Of course, we do not get a block. Second 11. What a throw. What a catch by Vasco to Washington. Oh, my gosh. I thought that was an interception. Oh, Washington, if you held that block, he might have actually juked outside. It's going to be a false start because I made an audible watch. Nope. Third and one. This is a fullback dive if I've ever seen it. Give it to Barong. Pick up the first. Move the chains. Yep. All day. Two minute warning. First down, I think, ends it. They're going to blitz like crazy. Washington picks up a decent chunk on the first run. Second and five. Third and two. Do we go back to the dive? We might. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna audible. Bennett run to the left. Fourth and one. Field goal puts us up by eight. First down ends the game. I feel like we can run to the left. No one's to the left. Cake. Cake! I mean, we wanted to do a, we wanted to do QB draw. It was just open. They had nobody on that side. Let's go fake. We're up 11. That, okay, note to self, never run that. All right, second and seven, down 11. They got to get a touchdown, two-point conversion, and a field goal to have a chance. Not saying it's over yet, but it should be. First and 10. Nice tackle there. They're probably going to score. In all seriousness, they probably will here. Like again, again, my gripe. Why? Like, it's, it's just so frustrating. Like, why would I, like, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but, like, I had the defensive lineman I dove, and then it switches to the corner, so he's diving. Like, why? Why would I want to do that? That's not what I'm doing. It's so frustrating how this game can just, that's the only thing I don't like. I cannot stand it. I mean, we drilled the quarterback. Third and goal. They fully are scoring here, by the way. Bold move to not guard him. Nice job, McDoom. How do you not guard him? I don't really know. Brown makes the stop. So they would have to score a touchdown here. Oh, thank the Lord. 
Need a ball. Get us out of here. We win. It was way closer than it should have been. I don't care. 34-29. We keep the win streak alive. Ethan Vasco, sensational. Christian Washington wasn't really effective running. Two and a half sacks for Clinton, half for Braylon Ryan, and a pick for Keontae Jenkins for a second week in a row. Do we get a commit this week? Please. We are literally almost at the end of the year. Please. Yes. Sean Muti. Four star right tackle. Yes. Lee Applewhite. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We don't get Gordon Peters. I kind of figured. I mean, playing style. I got to see why. Coach Prestige, we're winning. Why would you want to leave? We're winning. Okay, we get Sean. We get Lee Applewhite. Literally so massive. Vic, we're first four. Hodge, we're first four. Alex, we're third four. But massive. Top classes, we're still going to be last. We're not. We are not last. We are now 129. When it comes to the American... We are, or Sun Belt, not American. Second to last. Just wait. Check it. Okay. Playing style. How to improve passing yards per game? Two forty-seven. I feel like we've we've been doing that. I mean, the fact that two quarterbacks would want to transfer out. I, I don't see why. Um, I mean, playing time kind of makes sense. Coach Prestige, McDoom, like, we just have to keep winning to keep McDoom. That's what that comes down to. We're a B championship contender. But... Checking out the now commits. We have three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sean Muti is 138th in the nation. This was a massive commit. Absolutely massive commit for us. We have two running backs now. So we got our right tackle. We got two running backs even though we don't need them. We still need a lot. Hewitt. We got points back now. Kyle Combs is still visiting week 13, but Minnesota has made an incredible push. Like, an incredible push. But he visits this week. A win might get us Kyle Combs who has 90 throw power and 98 speed at 6'4", 215. Isaiah, if we get him, cool. Um, I'm not losing sleep if we don't. We need a fullback, allegedly. I don't really know, like, if I want to be putting time into a fullback. Um, is there any just like 6 2, 2 30. He's a three star. I don't really want three stars. We might try and hard sell Dylan Morris this week. I mean, we should realistically get him, but let's hard sell. Let's let's proximity to home. Uh, 
Um, what else can I sell him on that would make sense? Coach Prestige. We get five out of five. That might have been the push we needed for Dylan Morris. Ennis, Hodge, Vic. These guys are horrendous one stars. I mean, 82 speed, 79 speed, 83 speed. I don't even know why I'd want them. I know we need receivers, but they're like horrendous. We added three new wide receivers. 88 speed for Trey Valenzuela. I feel like he's solid. We're going to go after him. Alfonso Hendricks. 92 speed. He's a gem. I think, think we're going to give some points there. Sisk, we're just keeping on for the time being. Tight ends. I mean, AJ, we just don't know anything about him. He's a blocking tight end. I mean, I'll offer him a scholarship because he has none. Manny, you got to commit, brother. Clemens, you got to commit as well. After this week, he might, to be honest. I feel like I got to give points here to Hewitt. I got to go after him. We're like kind of hanging around for him, which is impressive in itself. I just haven't looked at any of these guys. We got work to do, though. I mean, we got three commits, thankfully. I'm um, checking out conference standings. Where do we rank? Okay, I mean, right now we'd be playing in the conference championship. We're third, but we're first in ours, which is all that matters. We got to play Georgia Southern and we got to play Georgia State, which we should have a decent shot with both of them. We are seven and three, but yeah, Georgia Southern this week, Georgia State next week by conference championship. Two big games coming up. We could finish the year nine and three. Potentially 10 and 3 with conference champ. We could finish 11 and 3 in reality, which would be insane. We'll see. Vasco has been good lately. He just doesn't want to be here. And I don't know why. I, I, it, it would suck if he wants out. Really would. Dylan Gabriel's insane. Rushing. I mean, Christian Washington's fourth behind two really good guys. Receiving. Also, some insane guys. Do we even have a thousand yard receiver? I don't know if we do. We're not going to. We're going to have Kendall Carr. have the most touched to ah uh, we just don't I mean just kind of spread out seven sacks for Clinton three picks for McDoom Shane Bruce Trey Brown too we got a decent amount of picks but we're gonna be bringing back only three sacks next year Pauls I mean Noah Kim's gone Barber might leave. We would literally have Larry Garfield. I don't even know if... What's his speed? We could work with that, to be completely honest with you. It just would not be ideal. But that is going to do it for the camera dropping. Now, that's going to do it for the episode, though. A little double episode in one for you if you enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe we're almost done with year one we're getting to the end a lot of stuff still has to happen but i'm excited i'm having fun and i hope you are too and i'll catch you in the next one peace